it's such a monumental event for all of us, uh, for representation. Just to honor our, our friend and the legend that is Chadwick Boseman and the legacy that he left for all of us to aspire to. The whole film is really to honor him and it was definitely all we were thinking about and all we really had in our hearts as we did it. It was really about honoring that astounding legacy he created and also just the astounding leadership that he brought to the set. Really like remembering him as you're going through a tough day or as you're trying to figure out you know, a scene and just how he was such an amazing presence and a supportive presence and you know, just a calm, kind leader. And that was really something that really carried us through as we were processing through our own grief as we processed through creating this film, really in his honor. So, you know, our hope and our prayer is that that is deeply felt by the audience that enjoys it. It's been a long journey for all of us black creatives, so to see all this recognition is just chef's kiss. It's so special. We're so excited to just see this film tonight and represent. I mean, this is our movie, so we, we're so excited. My son right now, he's two, almost three. He's really into superheroes, so I love this movie because it's something that he can be proud of and it's something he can aspire to be. What's exciting, I get to share it with my son. Um, I know the effect that the first one had on both of my boys. It was incredible Black Panther opened the door for the Woman King. So I'm just here to support and I know I'm gonna see a really great movie. It was such a big thing even in the comics when she took over for, for T'Challa. So to see it now live on screen, so many young black women get a chance to see her represent for them. She's with the smoke too, so she's gonna go out there and battle. When Marvel announced that they were gonna do Black Panther, I think there were a lot of people that did not think that the film was going to be what it turned out to be. It's a dream come true, right? Like. We got to make this great piece just to be in that same universe and then to go see the movie that everyone's been working on. When I saw the car, you, you see it and you start thinking of all these ideas and the story kind of builds itself together. Introducing this car to the Marvel Universe is quite extraordinary. I think it's going to take it to the next level for a couple of reasons. You know, when I think about Lexus, experience amazing, right? They also stand for innovation, technology, luxury, and that's everything that this represents. And I think in addition to that, we're both coming together to add a moment to pop culture. And I am 100% certain, I'm way more than that certain that we have accomplished that. I mean, look at that car behind me. That is wicked cool. I would definitely drive away immediately. <laughs> yes, don't hand me the keys. You will regret it. It's only right for them to have this car in this film and the marketing has been incredible, but the single fact that Lexus has been in the black community since they started and have kept that caliber of energy, that's everything. Lexus always come through though. Yeah. Lexus always comes through, man. When we heard that Denai loved the vehicle and, and she thought that it was amazing, we felt like if the general of the Dora Milaje is comfortable with the car and felt safe in the RZ, it's good enough for us. Well, I mean, what I loved about it is that, of course, it is the future. It is the next gen. It is, it is thinking beyond and taking care of the planet at the same time. And that does feel like the Dormelage, yeah. and it does feel like, you know, the world of Wakanda. Show them who we are.